All right, this has been one of the most aggravating projects I've done as a DIYer. And mostly because of all the misinformation and all the crap that you see on, uh, well, online. Uh, there's a thousand different opinions on everything that you should do on bodywork. Whether it's uh, epoxy first, then Bondo, then this and that. That crew seems to be the ones who's uh, like on their high horse. But not even that, man. It's it's people who want stuff to last a hundred years. I mean, they're they're technically could be doing it right, but the I mean, even the can says prime, uh, Bondo directly to a prepared metal. So I've done this three times. The first time I took it off, I put a uh, Weld it in a patch, put Bondo, and then etch primer over it. And then I read, oh no, don't do not do that. First you gotta put epoxy. So I bought some rattle can epoxy paint, BHT. And uh, some people might have had good experiences with that. I did not. I did everything like it said. Uh, waited two days and just barely touched it with a, a piece of sandpaper and it just scuffed right to the metal there's no way you could have put filler over it and I painted it thick on there and so I grinded all that back off again and then I said you know what I've done this three times my patch panel looked like crap so I'm gonna cut the daggone thing out and do it again and do it right because I've been practicing with my welder and I've got a lot better uh, it seems with 22 gauge that the 0.25 wire works better and uh, then on high voltage, on my little Craftsman, if you can see it there, bam, my little Craftsman welder, I needed to go to max voltage for that 22 and then two on the wire feed. And uh, I'm not a professional welder, it's probably a better way to set that up, whatever, it worked good for me. So I welded in a real good patch panel i didn't video that because i was so frustrated from all the work that i've done but i'm now starting to get happy uh which i still like some sanding i'm gonna blow this off and then i'm gonna turn it around and show it to you so and i'm just shaping it with 80 right now so it's gonna be a little off I got some uh, low here and here, which may sand out because I put it on there thick. And, uh, but it's, I'm completely stoked. So it's looking good. I still got a lot of sanding to do. I'm taking my time, trying to do it right. I'm a literal DIYer. I'm not a, a professional auto body guy. This is a patina truck. And if you get caught up in, I've done this before with my 84. Uh, I, a lot of the things that I've done, I let people's like opinions of the vehicle or whatever, whatever they want to do affect me somehow. But now I'm to a point where, you know what, I'm gonna do what I want to. It's my daggone truck. So I'm fixing it the way that I want to and this is going to last for years like it's probably going to outlast this old fender and uh i watched some really great videos on uh, auto body at, uh lakeside auto body i think is the uh, channel check him out he's he's awesome he's done it for years and years and just tells it how it is and does really good simple repairs that last there's i mean it's a ton of great info and that's what I found that I've liked the best. So now I'm on video finishing it. And then I'm gonna have to edit this whole daggone video because I've got hours of footage. So I'm just gonna video it and speed through all the mistakes and maybe do some voiceovers to try to show you where I messed up and you know, whatever. Uh, I'm just trying to get this truck, get the holes out of it. Uh, I'm gonna buy rattle can at napa they will mix your paint color in a single stage color and this is not a uh, 9y i think it's medium walnut brown on my 84 so i'm just gonna get it in a rattle can because it's a patina truck
I'm gonna prime this, get the rattle can, blender in, buff it. If it don't look good, who cares? It's a patina truck. So let's get the sanding and get this over with. Get this fender back on the truck. I've got a set of aluminum heads over here that needs to go on that 351. So me and Honest Abe can burn some rubber and I'm wasting it all on that on fender repair. Let's get busy. Show you what I'm working on today. I took the fender off this because the previous owner had uh, left the hood off of it for a while and this stuff was all caked in my fenders and it's causing it to, I can show you on the other side, causing it to rust out as you can see there. And uh, so I'm pulling the fenders off and trying to get all that stuff out and then I'm going to patch it with a little piece of metal I'll take you in the shop and show you where we're at. Okay, so here's the spot we're going to be fixing. And uh, I got some 22 gauge sheet metal. I wanted 20, but they didn't have it at my local store. But I'll just have to be careful with welding it in that it don't blow through. We're going to try to make a patchwork because we're leaving this a patina truck, but I don't want it to, I don't like holes, you know. So I'm gonna cut those out and fix them, and then I'm gonna order this uh, medium walnut brown on the 84 F-150 and just paint it. And I don't care if it matches in perfect because, you know, I just don't want hose. So we're going to cut this out. I'm gonna lay some tape on it. Mark out where I'm gonna cut, cut it out with my handy dandy grinder and uh, we're gonna clean all this up in here, and rusty metal primer on it and all that good stuff. So uh, we'll get started, show you, the, show you what's going on. Okay, we've got uh, pretty much the shape cut that I want to cut out. And uh, I'm gonna cut on the inside of the tape line. So let's get that cut and then we'll start making our piece. You can still see that stuff just, look at that, caked in there. And every time that gets wet, that just holds moisture right against that and it just eats this whole thing out. So we're gonna get that all out of there, cleaned up, and get us a new piece welded in. Uh, I planned on using that for like a template, but there's not much to template there. So we'll figure it out get her welded up and uh, let you go with us along the ride. I'm not a professional welder or body man, but we'll figure it out. Can't find my safety glasses, so I'm using these. Better than having no eyes, I guess.
I'm going to shake this up and then we're going to use this uh, rusty metal primer to shoot back in there all that I can to try to uh, help stop the rust. I wish I had some Cora Seal. I had some of it. It's great stuff, but I don't have any on hand. So, use this rusty metal primer. I think I'm gonna let it warm up in here for a little bit before I do that, but we can go ahead and get the, let's see. I can get that shape right there. That would be awesome. And I might be able to, so. Okay, we've got our first cut made. I want to, Try to make this bin right here if I can. So I'm gonna mark it and then I'm gonna put it in my vise and use my body hammer tools and try to make that bend if I can. It may be harder than what I'm thinking, but So, you can see my line there. I use that hacksaw blade to kind of make my line with the paint. So, I'm going to try to bend it and see what I can get. I may be able to do this. Good luck again. We're going to find out. You can see I've got it in the bath, so I'm going to bend a little bit at a time and try to get it to come over. If I can find a way to set this, I'm going to leave it turned on. So, we'll see. working great so as you can see I've got my bottom bend then I've got my top one that's going in the groove I'll show you in a second I'm gonna be able to tack this along and push down and that's gonna fit great I have to put a little trimming around the bottom and stuff but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this shape out and then uh, see where we're at with that so Okay, you see it's coming together good. And that's no fancy tools, no, I mean, just using my, uh, not in the world, uh, a bench clamp and a couple of basic body tools that I have no idea really how to use. But what I'm doing right now is I've got a gap here. So what I'm gonna do is. See, I've got the top part that's too big, slid up under. So I'm gonna try to get it close as I can. Okay, let's see if my crazy little plan worked. Yep. If you can see there, 
it kind of leaves what I need to cut off. I'm super close. You can see there I messed up and cut a little too much out, but I'll just build that up with weld. I'm so close and I've got the, the bend looks right. I've started the welding process. You can tell my gaps are crazy, but my lines is gonna be okay. I've just got a lot of filling in to do, so I'm gonna get to doing that. Okay, we got some horrible welds going on, <laughs> but they're working. We're gonna grind them off, see where we're at. Uh, just a little bit, bend it a little bit, get her back in shape. I'll let you see it after I grind it down. If you needed further proof that I'm not a professional welder, there you go. But here we go. Get that ready to go in. Those gaps are a lot tighter, so this should work better. So let's weld some more, grind some more, weld some more, grind some more. A little more welding, a little more grinding. Still ugly, 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 but we're working on it. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna have to, uh, I think I'm gonna try some JB weld on some of those big holes. And then uh, some body filler, sand her down, sprayer. All right, back in the shop today, we are gonna put some body filler on it. You can see it's rough wire brush and I think 80 grit sandpaper, pretty rough. So we're gonna do some lightweight body filler ever coat, put that on her. Let that dry, sand it off, and uh, then prime over top of that in full sand. This is X primer, which you need uh, if you go down to the bare metal. So X primer, Bondo, sand, primer. It turns out you're not supposed to put Bondo over X primer. So we got it back down to bare metal. Now we're gonna mix up our Bondo and get it ready for the panel. Okay, we got our spot putty on. We're gonna go ahead and put some etch primer on it and uh, where we're down to the bare metal. And then we'll go over that with some filler primer and uh, see where we're at. This fender patch video is gonna be crazy. It's the third time I've took it all the way down to the metal. First time I used etch primer, and then I read something that said etch primer needs to go on after the filler. So I took all the etch primer off, put on the filler, and then put the etch primer on top of it. And then I asked some uh, professional auto body guys, and they said, no, you want to use epoxy first, and then the filler, and then your putty, and then the primer, and then the base coat, and then the clear coat. So, I've took all the Bondo back off, all the etch primer. I'm not going to fool with the etch primer. Uh, I'm going to try this. DHT epoxy paint. Uh, I don't have a setup to spray with a gun. But, uh, this is epoxy, so... I'm going to do that. I've got it down to the metal. I'm going to use prep spray cleaner and clean and degrease everything. Then I'm going to put the epoxy on it and I'm going to wait till tomorrow. And then I'm going to go from there. So I don't know if I'm going to put all these videos on here of uh, me going through this whole process over and over. I might speed through some or something. So, uh, dang, man. Oh, DIY or old average bow. That's what it's about. Do something, mess up, start over. Do something, mess up, start over. To save you from having to do all that crap. So, if you're doing a patch panel, get it down to bare metal. Use epoxy paint. Bondo over top of that. Do a little spot putty. Clean all that up. And then do your high build primer. 
So uh, I'm going to do that and get started on that right now. Okay, so here's my second match. Down to the bare metal again. Getting ready to put this stuff on me. I video with my phone right now, so I don't really have a stand so you can watch me. I'm going to try to figure it out, love. And I'll let you see it in action. Okay, friends, here we go. First coat. Light coat, she says. Light coat. Wait 10 minutes, another coat. Okay, we've got the final coat of the epoxy on. Got some runs, but it's gonna be covered up anyway. On there nice and thick. There's the stuff. And we'll see how it's gonna work. Hopefully it'll work. All right, here we go. Um, Stave actually had a phone stand in his room that he wasn't even using. So uh, I borrowed that from him. Here we go. All right, you can see I've got a couple wrong spots still. And if there's one that I may have to fill in, there's one up there. So I have to get the screw in here first if I can. Just about where I want it. Is that the light affected? Let's see. You can see it a little bit better. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to flatten out this piece of copper to fit in the back of this because I watched a video last night and they did this and they was able to fill in a hole. spots there's one Focus on trying to get it.
All right, it's been long enough now. We start to get some of these ridges and stuff off. You can just barely dig your finger now in it like that. I don't have a cheese grater, but this works pretty good. You just gotta keep it knocked out. And I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to get the ridges and very high spots with it, so. Alright, we'll give it a few more minutes and then try it. I'll try to get with the hoodie. Oh, that's close. Yeah. That's still a little low right there, but we'll do that with the hoodie. Man, jeez. Get to get these spots right there, but I mean, I'm very happy. Back with the 80. and spot putty. Let me get her.
Cut it on there. We're gonna wipe it underneath. Okay. Let's go. This dries a whole lot faster, so this will be workable in just a minute. Oh, Hi, Bill Pramerton. I've shook the far out of this pan. Yeah. Failure primer, high build formula, fill surface imperfections. We're gonna do three coats on it and then let that dry till tomorrow, let's say. Gotta to get the kids out of here. So we'll wait a few minutes and then put another coat on her. Second coat. Second coat, nice and thick. Okay, there she is with the high build primer. Still got a little more work, to do, but you can see right here, there's a little high spot, but I don't care. Looks so much better. Looks good. Send it. All right, here we are back. Bam. Got a hard line. Don't care. Ain't ready to uh, paint it brown yet, but check that out. Look at that bad boy. Now there's a couple little places, like if I wanted to get crazy like I was before, I could take a uh, spot putty, fill that in, do all that. But this is literally the smoothest part on this fender. <coughs> Excuse me rust here you know patina scratches where the emblems come off and i got so messed up on wanting to get it perfect that i spent like a week on it but now we are ready to go and ready to put this back on the truck and then uh, i'll show you guys i've got a video of me fixing well I'm working on uh, fixing the below or behind the back rear, uh, the obviously the back rear, the rear wheel of the truck, there's a rust hole that I, I've already actually got it plated. I got to grind it and do filler and all that. And then I've got the wheel arches for the bed. Got a thing I'm gonna do on the hood. The hood's kind of bowed up. It is cracked on the inside. So I'm gonna clamp her down straight, fix that. Put the heads on the truck. Got heads, got aluminum intake, all kinds of goodies. So let's throw this thing back on there. Start working on the other stuff and then I can buy the paint all at one time and just do it all at once, which I'm just touching it up. I'm not painting the whole thing, just getting the uh, rattle can medium walnut brown and try best I can blend it in with some uh, u Paul 9 uh, blend spray and send it patina truck you know what i mean it's gotta go i want it to go fast you know what i'm saying so this is perfect man i'm so happy right now here you go listen to this you can get into hours of what i should do with this like i did and spend a week 
or you can do like it's been done for years, grind her down to the metal, Bondo on it, filler primer, or no, Bondo, glaze putty, smooth it all out good, filler primer, sand that down, put your little black on it so you can see what you're doing, little guide coach, get her, then some thinner primer, some just sandable primer, not filler primer, sand it. It ain't got to be perfect. You can get in your head and spend thousands of dollars wasting your time when this could have been on the truck and I could have been already fixed two different parts. So, full sin, baby.